Hey, thank you so much for watching. I'm Pippi Peterson. So I am going to do uh, some sort of design on my tabletop. You can see that like this whole thing's kind of it's bubbling in different places and uh, the sides falling off. So right now it's there pretty much just as a you know a, a cover that's probably wouldn't last so long. It doesn't look great. I'm always getting things cut, like caught on here. So <laughs> this is time to uh, renovate and uh, make it look good again. So I have an idea and I loved how my countertop turned out with the pennies and the epoxy over it. And it just so happens that I have some epoxy left over and it's going to be expiring soon. So I wanted to use it and um, I just loved it anyway because it's like so crystal clear. I've had the penny countertop for, geez, I don't know, maybe uh, uh, maybe eight or nine months now in the kitchen where I'm always working and it gets much more use than here. And I haven't had any problem with it. It's still beautiful and it wipes up absolutely shiny and gorgeous. So I'd love to use it again. And I was thinking, you know, I was trying to figure out what I want to do on the tabletop. Well, what I really wanted was some sort of kind of eclectic, uh, mosaic, you know, it's like mosaic tiles. Well, one, mosaic tiles are really heavy. They're even heavier than the pennies, and the pennies were pretty heavy, so I really want to keep it lightweight. And, you know, the only uh, plastic tiles that I could think of would be like, I don't know, like kids' toys or something. I also wanted something that was going to be very thin, a very thin profile, because I only have like half of a, a liter left of the epoxy so I, I need it to be a very thin uh, application and layer uh, otherwise I'll have stuff sticking up through the epoxy. So I uh, had an idea to cut up a bunch of CDs or DVDs. You know how on the back they're really shiny so I, I think I'm going to do that and I'm going to just randomly place them in a couple different sizes and um, hopefully that'll have like a bunch of light come in and uh, it'll be just cool looking. So anyway, so I'm so excited to get started. I did have another thought of like painting the table, but I couldn't figure, I couldn't resolve onto one thing that I want to paint it. I thought about painting it just colors, and um, I even like sketched out this cool octopus, and because it would kind of go with my beach theme. But I really don't want it to be too arts and crafty because it's such a small space. I have plenty of colors going on already, so I don't want to add too much texture that's going to stand out. So I was a little weary of that. I still haven't been able to resolve if I want to do that or not. So. I think that I'm going to do the CDs and we'll see, you know, by the time I'm done, who knows, it might be something completely different. But right now I'm just excited to tear this off and I'm going to put some primer on and then paint the bottom and then we're going to go from there. So even though my uh, uh, laminate's peeling quite a bit, it's still stuck in certain places. So to kind of heat up that glue below and get it loose to be able to pull this, uh, this part off, I'm going to use an iron. Be careful when you touch it again because it could be pretty hot. Alright, let's see how that turned out. So it's peeling up a little bit more. Once you get it unstuck, it won't really stick that well again. So you can kind of just do pieces at a time. Just certain sections of the table. So I did this part and I'm going to kind of move, move this way. So 
since this texture is going to be completely covered and then have a new surface from the epoxy, I'm not going to worry about sanding it. It's going to be painted after the primer. I don't even really need to use primer, but I am because I won't get the epoxy on the sides. I'll have to paint that separately with polyurethane. And since the polyurethane is like one seven hundredth width of the epoxy, I'll paint the sides with primer. So I had to get out the primer and uh, this stuff might just like totally suck up the paint. So the primer kind of helps it, you know, me not have to like lose all my paint, you know, into the wood fibers. So I'm already super excited that I have a new look. <laughs> not a look that I want uh, permanently, but uh, I'm really excited that uh, just to be in on a new project and uh, I, I just love doing this sort of stuff. Well, I got the table totally primed and I let it sit overnight just to fully dry. And I'm ready to put my color on. For color, I got like a, I guess you would call this um, a royal blue, I don't know, it even have a name on it. Anyway, it's kind of like a royal blue. And I wanted to do, I was thinking that the CDs, they might seem kind of pale or they might seem kind of bright. So I wanted to have like a dark contrast on the bottom. So, I got royal blue. Well, I got the entire table painted blue, the dark blue. And I cut up a couple of these because I was so excited and I wanted to see how it was going to look. And these are actually, you know, I was thinking they'd be almost like clear colored or like the front, you know, kind of kind of gray. Um, but actually, they're a little more dark. Uh, they're still very reflective, but uh, some angles they look almost the same color blue that I was painting the table. So you couldn't really like notice that they were there so much so I painted a little section this lighter blue which is the same color that I painted the walls I just had leftover paint which is nice to always use leftover stuff of course now I have the leftover dark blue but uh so anyway it looked so much better because it was a much higher contrast and so I painted the rest of it uh pale blue after painting it dark blue and then I tried to mix in just a little bit of the darker blue at certain areas just to give it a little bit of I don't know just a little bit of change in the color so uh, now I'm ready I, I've got these cut up because I was kind of playing around with them and I'm ready to keep cutting and uh, start gluing them to the table and uh, I'm only going to be gluing them like I said in my other video when I was doing the epoxy on the countertop of the pennies the only reason why you need to glue it is because it's so like especially these ones the pennies were pretty heavy but um, once you pour the epoxy on these are so lightweight that they could possibly like you know uh, rise up to the surface of the epoxy so that's the only reason why I need to glue them so anyway I am ready to continue on and uh, keep gluing these and uh, uh, set them in place and I can't wait to see it is definitely a darker look than I thought, so I'm hoping that doesn't darken the whole environment uh, because they're very reflective and, you know, the light bounces off them in such beautiful patterns. Hopefully that will be more captured than the initial dark appearance. So anyway, on to cutting more. I can't wait till this is done. I've already got a, uh, a blister forming from uh, cutting these uh, with the scissors. So anyway, it's a fun project and I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. Well, after probably about 12, maybe even 15 hours, somewhere between 12 and 15 hours, 
over several days, I finally got, like, I think it was a pack of 50 CDs or something. I got all the CDs cut up, and, uh... This is, uh, yeah, I wish I knew the pack number. I, th I think it's probably like 50 or maybe 25. No, I think 50. And uh, this is 50 CDs caught up. And uh, I've got this teeny little corner that I just didn't have enough. So I'm going through some old like CDs and DVDs and stuff to see if I've got four or about probably about three more CDs that I can cut up. And I found, too, that... Uh, the back of CDs, they're, you know, I thought they were, like, all kind of white or clearish, but um, uh, some of them are, and then uh, some of them have, like, this purple covering. So mine, I got the ones that were kind of uh, purple on the back. So I'm looking for the <laughs> specifically purple ones, and I'm finding that it's much easier to find the clear ones. I also found some CD backs that were kind of blue, so... I didn't know there was such a rich variety of colors on the back of CDs. So anyway, I am almost, almost done. I am so excited, and uh, once I get these cut up, I'm going to polish each of them to get the fingerprints off, to get the dust off, and then I'll put up the tape that's going to be the barrier so that the epoxy, the liquidy epoxy, doesn't run over the edge when I'm ready. So once I get that done, uh, then I'm going to, the table is a little bit uneven, so I'm actually going to adjust the shocks, or sorry, not the shocks, the jacks on my RV to uh, get this side of the table a little bit higher, just to try to, you know, otherwise I'll have like thicker epoxy over here and, you know, it'll be just uneven, so. And then I'll be ready to pour, oh my gosh, I can't wait, it'll be nice to have my table back, being in my RV. There's so much limited, like, tabletop or counter space anyway. Not having the table has been um, slightly disastrous in the kitchen, you know. It's like I have to do dishes even two or three times a day because there's really no space. So, can't wait, and uh, I'm, uh, I'm very excited. I, I think it looks beautiful. I love how it looks when the sun shines on it, on the ceiling, and... It changes color all throughout the day and even just different angles and stuff. So I'm pretty excited and um, can't wait to see when it's done. Well, I think I've come to the point where I am ready to pour. I have the entire side taped up with rigid duct tape, and I've got, at least I think, all of the CD pieces, uh, you know, scrubbed and uh, polished for fingerprints. And I think I'll do one more spray with my compressed air just to get, you know, uh, the remaining dust off. I've leveled the RV to try to level the table, and the table is all kind of wonky anyway because it's, you know, it's kind of a lightweight one, and over time the wood just warps a little bit. But mostly I've got it level, so I'm ready with that. I'm ready with my, my propane torch so that I can uh, blow heat over the air bubbles to get the air bubbles out after pouring. And let's see, what else have I prepared? I've got uh, two clean buckets to mix the resin in, and uh, you mix them in, mix for mix them together in one big thing, uh, stir that for six minutes, and you pour it into another one and stir that for six minutes, and then you pour it on. So I've got my two buckets. They're just outside drying right now. They got a couple more drops, so they're sitting in the sun, and getting ready to to be used, and. Um, and I, th I think that's it. So I'm ready. I'm excited. I can't wait to pour this and be done with it and have a table back. So, all right, let's start the mixing.
Well, after three days, my table is finally cured and I am able to use it again. Oh my gosh, it's been like like two, maybe even three weeks where I haven't been able to use it, you know, because I've had like these pieces laid out and then this was uh, curing. So I'm so excited to have my table back and it's like so beautiful. I absolutely love it. When I poured the epoxy on, it got underneath the kind of between the shiny layer of the CDs and the plastic and it made it look even more like you know those uh, rainbowy kind of shells so I'm so excited I, I just love it I think it is so beautiful and um, anyway I removed the um, rigid taping that was on the side and then I just like I did with the penny countertop there was, you know, because of the meniscus where the liquid go kind of uh, goes up along the side of the, the edge, um, it, it dried kind of really sharp. So I had to take a, a razor blade and just kind of uh, trim it down just so it doesn't have that sharp edge. Um, anyway, I, I am so excited. I absolutely love it. I, I can't stop looking at it. And even when I touch it, there's... Uh, like a little, you can kind of feel the CDs below. You know, I didn't have, I was only using the leftover epoxy and I didn't want to have to get any more. So I really had just enough. <laughs> if I didn't have any, as much as I did, even just a little bit less, I think I would have, you know, some CDs probably coming up. But it's perfect, you know, I, they're totally covered. There's no, you know, sharp edges, but you just feel a little bit of, kind of a, you know, little inclines and declines at the edges of the CD pieces. So it's got a really cool uh, texture, you know, it's not 100% flat like my penny countertop is. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you got some good inspiration and uh, I totally recommend uh, going crazy and being creative with this epoxy stuff. I really love it. Uh, it just has such a beautiful, shiny, super clear finish. So anyway, um, please subscribe for more videos and like and share this video. Also, check out pippinings.com. It's my website where I've got my RV Living Forum. You can join the conversations and the threads on there and read other people's input and questions. And there's a lot of really good information there. Plus, you can also get your Keep It Simple bumper sticker. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.